<laughs> let's let's have a great show. Welcome to another episode of a Gaming Podcast, episode thirty-three. I can't believe it already. Three threes. Um, Tammy, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty Welcome good. Welcome back. I have... Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a little hectic, mm -hmm. but it's been a fun couple of days. I've been running around doing like movie car stuff. Uh, had the chance to do watch some advanced previews of some films and hang out with some producers. Yeah, how was, how was Civil War? Civil War is actually Does America really good. Make it? <laughs> Do not... Which America are you talking about? Yeah, it yeah. depends which America. Without giving any spoilers, I'm what actually going to go watch America? it again. Oh, because like okay. there's a lot of layers, so I want to watch it again. And I know there's like really mixed reviews, but I personally really liked it. I'm sure the mixed reviews are from people who don't agree that this is not my America. What are you, what are you talking about? Well, like, about? <laughs> watch the movie. That's all I'm going right, to say right. to that. It, it's intense. Not I heard me. it's intense. Texas yeah. would never ally with California. That's right. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's unrealistic. All well, the premises of if it got bad enough, maybe. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. all right. We'll mm -hmm. see. We'll see. Steve Saylor. What's going on, man? uh i don't know you, it's, you mentioned uh 33 immediately i think of vault 33 uh from fallout tv show i've oh, finished legend that over the weekend oh boy what a show i love it <laughs> so i still have to watch that but it's on Damn. my list you haven't started oh it's on my oh. list it's on my list this i made so the good. mistake of telling my husband i'd wait for him so i have to wait like an extra couple of days <laughs> same boat same boat yeah you guys uh, Steve, we're just gonna have to, you know, uh, geek out about it ourselves, then, because anytime. Then, whew, what a show! That was a good, a good, a great show. I mean, eight hours to watch. Okay, we can do that. I could, I could get that yeah. by the end of the week. All right, I could do that. Yeah. Steve V, how about you? What's going on? I'm doing really good. Yeah, like Steve, I'm kind of off the heels of watching the Fallout uh, series. I installed Fallout 76 this past weekend. That's Having wild. Too. Having <laughs> a delightful time to be came honest. Yeah, That's honestly, they did. It, yeah. yeah. Had I known this game like could be played by yourself, yeah, I'd be playing a long time ago. I think, while well, well. from what I heard, it's like it's it's better now to be yeah. played solo than it was sure. when it launched. So yeah. yeah, that game people were like falling through with multiple floors like all the time. Like it was bad. It was not a. I, it was not a it good runs launch fine. game. Yeah. No, it doesn't course, look yeah. particularly great, but no, I'm but just having fun. I'm just wasn't it in like hmm, an Xbox about. One game as well at launch? I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. But hey, Prime. If you have Prime Gaming, uh, you can be able to get it for get free it on free. Xbox or PC. Yeah, they gave a bunch of stuff away, to, um, and even like like little I don't know cosmetic stuff as well. So yeah, mm -hmm. cool. yeah. There's yeah. a there's a little jumpsuit in there. Vault Thirty Three jumpsuit. You guys can uh, go. Acquire true, or yeah, also the backpack too, or you can get the ghoul outfit if you uh, if, if, if you're like Fallout first, um, oh, yeah, and that thing. So that's like I'm kind of debating I want it, if I want to do that or not, but I'm kind of at that point. I, it, here's a question actually for for the group: Do you think that Bethesda did a lot more to support the series with the games than PlayStation did with the Last of Us show? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Okay. I was wondering yeah. if it was just me because I'm like, I know yeah. that they had part one remake out like a, a few months prior because they released that in September and then the show started in January, but it just felt like like that was it. Like that they didn't do really any huge promotion for anything or any like sales or you know I, I don't know. I just I don't remember seeing anything that PlayStation did to be like, hey, you know what? We also have this is this is a game. You can play this now. Yeah. Uh as compared to like with Fallout, there's like a whole Steam sale for the entire franchise. You got the Fallout 4 update, which I knew was old, but it it's now with the hey, it's about coming out. And then you get like Fallout 76 for free if you're Amazon Prime. Like it just Seems like there's a lot, yeah, a lot more stuff that you can be able to, that you can be able to do now that everyone's like jumping in on the Fallout bandwagon. I feel like, I feel like Amazon, uh, Amazon's been pretty clever about promoting at like the cross promotion because it is yeah. their streaming service airing mm -hmm. it. So like mm -hmm. they've been really proactive with that stuff, and it seems to be working well. Especially with they tied in with Twitch as well. And I was going to mention with uh, with Sony, they kind of like I think they tried to do that with this upcoming season, but since like things were uh, was was delayed with this right. the new season. So that's why that new announcement came out around the same time where the first season first came out for the uh, Last of Us uh, was a remaster 
Or the remake? Which which remake. one did they part one? Which one, which one was they remake? <laughs> part one. one was remake. Part two, part two was remastered. Was remastered. remastered yeah. yeah. So I think that's what they were trying to do. Um, yeah. So I don't know why thought. they didn't just yeah. wait. Again. I mean, I, I think I with the Last of Us because they have a partner like HBO. Like HBO yeah. knows they don't need to. Because no. they're like, you know, we're up here. All of you guys are peasants, even though there is like so much competition these days. They just feel like they're elevated and don't need to promote as much, which right. to their point, they have some really strong series. So yeah. true. That I know that fair. like like content wise for the show, they had a lot of stuff like they had the they had Troy and Ashley and Neil do a podcast for, you know, an after show podcast after each episode, uh, along with Craig Mason. Like so that I, I was listening to that week to week. Uh, and so it's a lot more like videos and content, like behind the scenes content for the show. Yeah. But as far as like the game was concerned, it just like the only times I ever heard about it was whenever they would just talk about it from the behind the scenes footage. That was it. I also feel like Sony probably wanted to treat it like premiere television where Fallout the series is like a gamer's show. Where yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go go play this game because it's just like, I don't know. There's more of a. It's more a fun. And they just dump the whole thing. They just yeah. dump the whole thing think, on Prime. I think like, that was a mistake is. on them, though. They oh, should have. I agree. Actually, they should have spread that out. Yeah. We talked about that last week. They should have like two. They would have two or months broken of it up into support. parts or something. Yeah, like something. I don't know. Like first two episodes and then every an episode after that, maybe you know. So oh well, uh, Stevie, what's going on? Wait, 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 I already told yeah, you. I'm sorry, sorry you're, you're talking about so much. You confused me. Because both of you started talking about Fallout. threw me off. Anyway, Riley, what's going on with you? Forget it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, uh, I platinumed uh, Helldivers 2. That was the big news. Oh, oh so I, you. I locked up that platy. Uh, that, was, that was a tough one to do, but I love that game so much. That's my game of the year you can see right now. Yeah. Wow. It took over so, Prince of did Persia. That, and then... Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I think even more than Prince of Persia, which is shocking to say. I thought that was going to win it, but I think Helldivers 2 has got, got it right now for me. So, did that, um, and then I went bowling on uh, Saturday, and that was pretty fun. Nice. I, love fun. Gotcha. I love bowling. I love bowling. What was your score? Was your score? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't beat my fiance. She beat me. So you did the right thing. You, you still didn't say <laughs> answer the question. What was your score? Are we talking about like eighty? What's yeah, the highest 90, score? Ninety post like a plus two? hundred. Was it a two? The second highest score. It's that one. What like ever? <laughs> <laughs> no, literally the highest score is three hundred. That's the yeah, highest you can get. Yeah. Well, like two, so like two ninety nine. Oh, okay. oh, oh okay. Okay. So, <laughs> so all strikes the entire time except for so, one. But she got three hundred. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Okay, okay. That's what it was. All right, cool. No, Y'all could be making some good. bowling money right now. Bowling. <laughs> <laughs> you get no. We uh, we just we played like we played like three games and then we just accumulated the score. So I I don't even know what I got, but it was it was not impressive. I promise you that. Hmm. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. You I'm know impressed. What? Well, I, I didn't get notches. Oh, and I saw Spider Man, the OG in theaters yesterday. Oh, cool. nice. Hmm. Yeah, really cool to see that again. Like it came out 22 years ago. Wow. Oh wow. So it was kind. Of, it's a real trip to go back and watch that. Yeah. Well, maybe you can watch some Keanu Reeves being Shadow the Hedgehog in the upcoming Hey-o. Sonic Three movie. First they reported out like, oh, maybe he might be him, and then everyone's like, nah, it's him. Like we're getting literally Cyberpunk yeah. in Sonic the Sonic the Hedgehog Three movie. Like what we got Ildris Alba and now Keanu Reeves. Um, Steve, thank you so much for that lovely gift. I was able that I was able to throw in some rings in there as well of him rolling down the steps as well. Uh, so good. This is this is absolutely this is. I mean, he's, I feel like he's the perfect voice for Shadow. To be honest, like you could him cast. Totally it. I don't know who else would you cast besides the original person who did Shadow. Right, uh, Hayden Christensen games. was another one that people I heard about that one too. Oh. As well, okay. also, I. I, I Sorry, go ahead. I, I, sorry, I was just going to say, I also heard like a lot of people were just saying like David Hayter, break, like put him in there. Mm. I was like, oh. David Hayter, yeah. yeah. All right. But I feel like kind of Reeves, though. Yeah. Right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> David Hayter. Yeah, right? Kind of Reeves. Yeah. <laughs> so who's going to be? I just. So go ahead. Yeah. No, I was gonna say like I, I think like once it's out, I think we definitely need a uh, a, a new edit of scenes where shadow and sonic are, are talking to it or shadow and, and knuckles are gonna be talking to each other but they're lines from cyberpunk 
<laughs> just cuz. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say the opposite. Uh, like oh, mod, I don't know. mod shadow into cyberpunk. I think. Oh, I maybe know. that could be it too. Yeah, yeah. That but I just want like. Definitely gonna happen. I just think it'd be. Hel- I think it'd just be hilarious just to be able to hear like cyberpunk lines coming out of Knuckles and so- uh, and Shadow. That'd be hilarious. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, does he get a gun? You'd hope so. Guaranteed, they'll have a throwaway gag where he gets a gun. Like he's yeah. looking at a gun. And he's then, like, like, he's, he's he'll, like he'll, not he'll this time. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. He's I like, can totally see something. And like then, that. like, and then Jim Carrey will make a, a, a joke that this is a kids' movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something, something like, yeah, yeah. Something that breaks the fourth wall. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Are we gonna get uh, a hedgehog? You can't have a gun. Who's the other two? Are we gonna get like Ruse the Bat? I saw someone talk about it might be um, Aubrey Plaza playing her. You think we'll get Rouge? I mean, no, I heard that Rouge was something was, was someone else. Um, uh, I don't know no. Amy though. Like, where's Amy at? Big the cat. Where are these folks? Oh, we Come don't on. need. We don't need Big the cat. You just stop right there. We kind of need Big, Big the, the cat. cat is I think a we need useless Big the cat. throwaway character. And you don't need him. Frog, no, we don't need him. <laughs> That, listen, it's your point. Oh, the rumor right, don't the, even waste your time and big the cat. The <laughs> rumor for Rouge is uh the rumor for Rouge is Kristen Ritter. Oh, oh. oh. that's the current rumor right now. I, I like that. I like it too. Yeah. Oh wait, no, apparently she wait, she's cast? Hold on. I don't know. Uh, some places are saying she's cast and some pla- like it's it's rumors. But yeah, um, that's that's the that's the that was like I knew I heard it today of like who was supposed to be uh, in it, but that's all I kept, uh, all I kept seeing. So anyway, whatever. Hmm. That'd be cool well, though. Is, this movie's coming out this year, right? Or wait, is it really? I think it's this year. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, December twentieth. December, December twentieth. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. Christmas release. That's cool. Yeah. But and we also have the Knuckles show coming up. I'm still good. Yeah, it's literally soon. ten days from now. Ten yeah. days from yeah. now, this, the Knuckles show comes out. That's dope. That's gonna be pretty cool. And we are yeah. eating good with video game content adaptation. I, I don't really <laughs> care about it just from like a knuckle standpoint, but Adam Pally just needs like more more roles given to him. Like he is underutilized <laughs> completely. And, sure, sure. Yeah. But I mean, like we're getting we're getting more Idris Elba uh, as Knuckles in this yeah. show. Like that's that's what I want. That's pretty <laughs> cool. I'm kind of curious if uh, if the Knuckles show will touch on Sonic, like the first Sonic Adventure. Oh. leading into this one because oh. the the echidna the race and everything like that w- was attacked by chaos so right. and some of the characters in the flashbacks from sonic adventure uh show up in the new show so i'm kind of i'm kind of wondering if that's if chaos is going to show up as the villain and as a villain. that would be pretty sick actually yeah that'd be pretty cool hmm. I know they. I thought they were hinting at. I thought they were literally just remaking the whole Sonic Adventure. <laughs> yeah. Like, game in the movies. Yeah. I was like, just do it already. And but like they. I love. Yeah. Well, way, because so. like this one's the setup for two, and it seems like the whole background for Shadows in place now. Like they've casted yeah. like, uh, like a young girl to play, uh, presumably Maria. Maria. Yeah. Who's like the best? So like, there's going to be a lot of stuff there, which is pretty cool. Sonic Adventure two, just slaps so hard. It's so good. I cannot wait to see that on the big screen. And it sounds like Crush Forty is going to be in it, which is like that. Oh no that's way! Just makes the Sonic movie, yeah. So wow. like, apparently they mentioned that Live and Learn is going to be in it, which is like the best song. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it was like their last, like, it was like their final game to be like, "Hey, if this game doesn't make it, then the Dreamcast is pretty much like falling apart." And that's why it was it was their big Hill Mirror game. That's why the game's so good and everything. Um, I can't it's remember the so guy. So good. Who was the guy who was with Halo? He worked on it too. The president. He had like the Halo tattoo. And he's like, oh, here's the announcement. Oh. Um, yeah, he, was, oh. uh, he had Phil Spencer's job. Yeah. It was oh, Don, uh, Don Matrick, uh, whatever his name is. No, wasn't, no, wasn't he Don definitely Matrick. didn't have a Halo <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> I, I do remember the Halo tattoo because it was like the one that was confirming like the actual release date of 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 it. Of some, of yeah, it was game, the right? guy before him. It was the guy before Don Matrick? Okay. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Peter Moore. Thank you, Peter Moore. Moore Peter know, Moore yeah. worked on Sonic Adventure too. He was uh, he was a part of that. What is he doing? What is Peter Moore doing now? <laughs> yeah, he helped launch the Dreamcast. He owns. I think he's he's the president of a like a football team in Europe. Is he? Yeah, he's, yeah. So. He definitely has that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> he did well for himself. Yeah, he, he, yeah. He's good. He's good. 
Uh, well, moving on, Sony wants uh, 60 FPS PS5 Pro enhanced games, but it's happy to settle for less. Uh, this is from The Verge. Uh, Sony is working on a new high-end version of PS5 codenamed Trinity. Awesome name, by the way. Likely, yes. to, uh, likely to, to debut on a PS5 Pro later this year. Uh, the Verge has confirmed leak specs about the PS5 uh, Pro earlier this week. Uh, we have that they have obtained uh, they obtained details on how existing and new PS5 games can be enhanced to take uh, take advantage of the PS5 Pro hardware. Uh, that Sony is, uh, is working on an ultra boost mode for older games to make them run better on a PS5 Pro. You know, like at the, just get a computer at this point. Like, like I don't like, oh, no. <laughs> like, like, like honestly. You know what the console's gonna be. Make it for the consoles, and then just make it an enhanced mode for the PC players. Just make them one on one. Like I don't, I don't understand. I mean, the it. cost of these things are getting up to about PC prices. Let's just no, say you're that. not uh. wrong. Yeah, you're not <laughs> wrong at all. Like this is not like how we can't be treating video game systems like how Apple is. We're like, hey, in six months we're gonna have the fastest Apple yet. You know, I'm like, oh, obviously it's a new Apple phone. Like, of course it's gonna be faster. You know, like. I don't, if, if Apple comes like, be like, like, hey, our new phone's slower this year, <laughs> but like, wait, what, what's going on here, Apple? It's it's fun. It's kind of funny because Apple actually charges more for a phone than like a console costs. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's yeah. kind of, yeah. it is kind of funny True. that they're doing it annually. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I, 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 I mean, to be honest, it's like a mid gen. <laughs> yeah, and also a phone does a lot more than I can do ever do with a console. Like, let's yeah. be honest. That is true. There's a lot more value you can extract out of. Yeah, you this can play stupid thing. You can do it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You can play Resident Evil for half an hour. Right. There, yeah. you know, so. <laughs> True. Uh, but yeah, they're looking to uh, basically get between 1080p and 1440p resolution at 30 FPS on the base PF5 running. Bet- oh, wait. No, sorry. They're running, they want to upgrade the 1440 to 20, 2160p, uh, which is basically just 4K. And then if, if the game can get that, it will qualify as a pro enhanced game. So if your game doesn't get it, you don't get the pro enhanced sticker. That you can yeah, I saw it. that. Like that, uh, there's that story. Yeah, that PlayStation wants to be able to uh, get developers to create a mode that w- will work for the PS5 Pro. And I, I like here's here's the thing. I, I honestly don't think it's hardware is going to solve the problem that people are thinking that this is going to solve. Uh, everyone is looking at the PS5 Pro, Pro being like, oh, that means that every game is going to be at 60 FPS at 4K and it's never going to drop below that. It's going to, you know, we're never going to need uh, quality mode or performance mode again. It's just, you know, and, and the, you know, they, they keep saying like it's just going to do all that. But in reality, it's not the it's not the hardware that's the problem. It's the software. The software right. is just, it can't be optimized for the current hardware that's available. And as... You know, ga- like I like it, we talked about this before, but I think it's the games or the the, the hardware is now out pa- outpacing the games, and the games can't keep up with with the current hardware. I think honestly that yeah. the current PS5 could run every game at 60 FPS, and you know maybe not necessarily 4K, but at least probably a 1440, which would still be pretty decent. Um, but uh, like if it could continuously do 60 frames, that'd be great. But Right now, the games are just not able to uh, to keep up, and that, uh, that that's more where the problem is. And I don't know if if hard if, if increasing the hardware into a PS5 Pro is going to solve the thing that people are thinking it's going to solve. Yeah, yeah, I think time will certainly tell whether or not Sony's vision of whatever solution PlayStation Five Pro might yeah. end up uh, giving or not. But the thing that I I do love here is that they're at least willing to go to bat and create this kind of seal of approval. And that, to me, as a consumer, as someone who, you know, we, you know, critique games and stuff like that, that makes me a lot more happy, where, like, if a developer comes to to PlayStation, to that platform, and they're like, hey, we have this game that, at launch, isn't sufficient enough to hit that 60 frames, to hit that, what was the minimum, the the 1280p, well, then you're just not getting the label. And that at least sets up mm-hmm. an expectation for consumers to be like, okay, well, don't expect anything more out of that. Maybe down the line, you can you can reapply or how, whatever they kind of choose to uh, to reassess that situation. But I love the fact that now, yes, a Ghost of Tsushima 2 could come out, have that seal of approval, have that label and be like, no, this is an enhanced game. So at the very least, you know, these are gonna be the minimum, um, you know, performance uh, benchmarks that you're going to get out of this game. And it's not this 
oh, what's going to happen? What's the day day one patch going to do? What's it not going to do? And it, it alleviates a lot of the guessing work and alleviates a lot of these news cycles that we, as you know, pundits go into like week after week of, oh, this game is only going to run at 30. Well, it's like, okay, well, now it's just going to turn into, is it enhanced or not? Well, then discussion over at that point. And yeah. I, I like that personally. Now, my only question is, is having an enhanced label going to give them an excuse to charge like $10 more, $20 oh, more? 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I think I think they'll probably wait until the PS6 for the price jump. But I, I may, I mean, who knows? And that'll be, yeah, that, uh, that, that, so. that'll be, you know, that that'll cover okay. the tip uh, that uh, Mikey Barra wants, uh, wants yeah, people, people to I give those. <laughs> but, but to be honest, I honestly wouldn't be too upset if a game developer in today's economy was like yeah we're gonna charge more if if rockstar came out and they're like guess what grand theft auto 6 is a hundred dollars it's playstation 5 pro enhanced i'd be like yeah that makes sense that, mm -hmm. that doesn't to me doesn't feel like, like sure, out of here, value pocket. and here is my credit card number yep and thank you <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have two of those please one for me and a friend <laughs> But yeah, so so if a developer thought, hey, this does give us some leeway to charge even five dollars more, or even just go out like break outside of the the typical cycle that we kind of see, go for it. Like I I honestly feel like the gaming industry should break away from that norm of like every every quote unquote triple A game has to have be seventy nine dollars in Canada. Why why not? I, yeah, why I love not? I love that it's diversifying now. Yeah. Like Hell Divers came out at fifty bucks, and right. like. You know, other games are ninety dollars, and and like so on and so forth. Like, if that if there's meaningful evolution there, like I think that's better. Like, I think it makes like like everybody kind of wins. In you know, know what I mean? I like, I, I, yeah. I don't know because uh, I'm kind of more thinking about well, I mean, because we're like a bunch of us. And I'm not saying that you know we're coming out of this from from a very like privileged position, but we we yeah. are in a sense that we do get these games oftentimes for for free because you know for review or whatever and uh i can but i can see that you know consumers that are finding it very hard to be able to justify a purchase of, of a new game um especially if you know they've paid like uh five six hundred dollars for a brand new console and then all of a sudden now they have to basically spend more like essentially you buy like six games you pretty much are paying for the same amount as you paid for the uh, for the console itself and that's over the course of the just you know the span of however long you have that console for so i, I think right now i mean yeah canada is sort of in that spot where pretty much every game is close to a hundred dollars anyway and so yeah what is yep. ten dollars more than at that point but also i'm hoping it's not that i'm hoping that you know prices will go down but i'm hoping that there's at least a way for you know the gaming industry to be a little bit more sustainable where you know we could potentially still keep that price point um but you know as you said rather like be, be a little bit more diversified with oh yeah no this game is a 50 dollar or this game is a is a, is a 60 dollar or 70 dollar whatever it is well i think that's which that i think is, is the way strategy, forward yeah it's, i think that's the what they'll end up doing yeah, is to be sustainable enough to say well even look at lost crown in any other position that game despite it being a 2D Metroidvania, Ubisoft would typically say, hey, that's a $70 game because it has that that name to it or whatever. But the fact that it came out in Canada for, I believe it was 60, if not like 50 at bare minimum, I, mm. I think that is a, is a showcase of like, we can diversify games top to bottom. And the range, yeah. Yeah, it, it, so, so be it. If a, if a player out there spends the $700 on the console and says, okay, well, I'm not in the financial position to spend $700 on games. Well, either A, you can go towards the indie or double A space uh, day one if you, if you want to stay, stay current or wait for sales. I mean, it's not, it's not like you're hard locked out of playing any game if they come out at $100 or even more than that. Um, or subscribe you know. to a service like Game Pass. <laughs> yeah. Like that. That's PlayStation that. Plus. That's Nintendo why Switch those services are great. <laughs> yeah. Best value yeah. in gaming. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think if, if PlayStation came out with a compelling reason and enough earned enough trust out of players to say like okay enhance our enhanced label is like a, not only a, cer a certification in terms of its specs and benchmarks but also quality 
charge whatever you want and, and I'll leave it up to me to determine if I want to spend that money or not. Oh, if it's 120, that's where I draw the line. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> that's when you're out? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, all right, yeah. I'm out. Well, yeah. I mean, 120 for a four game, hour right? game? No, thank you. I'm good. You know? If it was like a 200 hour game, then like, sure, you're definitely getting your money's worth out of that. But if it's only if like it's a, a Boulder's game, game, it's like six discs. Yeah. <laughs> right, but also, <laughs> maybe. also, as well, like, how do we differentiate or like, how do we delineate what that price point is? Like, as you said, like, Sammy, like, oh, yeah, if it's 70 to 100, 100 hours, sure, yeah, that definitely like warrants the price. So, so it's like, if it doesn't mean it like, okay, a game, a, a game has to be that X amount of hours in order for it to be X amount of price, or are we talking like, you know, just amount of content, or is it like, are we delineating basically on a triple A or indie sort of? side like it like it how do we how do we figure this out <laughs> well i think it's the, I think it's the same thing as we're doing now i mean like you can look at Baldur's gate 3 yeah 80 dollars here send you a saga 2 80 dollars as it's it's it's, it's right it's all but that's in, the thing Baldur's gate 3 hundred, like the 100 200 hours whatever but right. send with saga 2 supposedly might be just eight hours sure so but, but that's what i mean it's it's it depends on the metrics that you set yourself up for it's like okay well if i'm only going to spend 80 dollars on 100 hour games well then you're not going to buy a senua saga day one at 80 dollars. but if you also go into that game and you're like well look at how cinematic it is it's supposed to tell this rich narrative with all these like audio perks and everything so it's like i don't know i, th I think it's a sliding scale it will always be a sliding scale for a lot of consumers and especially me uh so it depends again, what yeah. you want in a game yeah or what so you're if you're willing for, to yeah. spend it then well like i also look at the pc side of things like for example with senwa that's gonna be 80 dollars, and if i paid 80 dollars on pc i have more graphical options than what i'm getting on xbox then why am like but if, sure. if so if pc if it's not going to be charging more on pc why charge more on the console side then because you have to i, I think for... isn't isn't how like two that's, not isn't, that's gonna be <laughs> Hellblade 2 is actually like like not eighty dollars, right? Like it's launching at fifty dollars in the U.S. Is it? Is it? Yeah, so it's sli it's slightly cheaper. Well, there goes uh, I'm here yeah. for that. Well, all right, well, never mind. So I mean, <laughs> like, but like, but like, I think it, I think that's the point. Is like we kind of know, like they the developers clearly know what they're going to charge. So it's uh -huh. like we might see gouging and stuff like that, but I think consumers will just respond ultimately, and that yeah. will dictate how how successful these are. Yeah, I'm looking at. I'm trying to find the pr the Canadian I don't see price any right now. Prices on here yet? Uh, it's seventy dollars Canadian, fifty dollars US. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. So it's like ten dollars less than average price. Got yep. It. And this is the the I guess the console price. I'm assuming the PC price is the same. Yeah, but I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm looking yeah, at, it, at it IGN would, uh, for the digital release on on uh, console for Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. Which you know, at, at that point, it's like sure, I, I could definitely, I, I could definitely see plan for that but also as well i think it kind of goes into what we're saying with like with game pass like the fact that it's going to be available day one on game pass too um yep. as well as you know be able to buy it i think that and i've always said this like that's kind of why i i prefer the model of game pass more than say like a ps plus or even just you know what people are con like comparing it to like like the netflix of gaming i don't think it's necessarily the netflix of gaming because they still offer the ability to be able to purchase the game outside of just game pass like you can still enjoy game pass and if as long as it's there and more than likely you'll be there for a long time because it is a microsoft studio but um you can like you know you can still be able to purchase it uh, elsewhere um and if you don't want to be able to have uh you know drop down money for for subscription for game which pass is, so which is actually a really good point steve because one of the interesting things i was thinking of the other day was like why doesn't netflix sell movies on the side like Prime Video right. does that. Like you have, they have the subscription as well as you can just purchase video content. YouTube has subscription service access. You can buy the films as well. I am, I, I am kind of surprised that Netflix doesn't offer that as an option, given that like their storefront is everywhere. I wonder if it's a licensing issue. If it's like because I, it you know probably. movies come and go on Netflix all the time, unless it's their own original right. programming. Um, maybe that could. That's it. I mean, I do know they do sell like physical copies or they used to sell physical copies of their, yeah. uh, of their stuff. Like you can yeah, go buy like box. stranger things on Blu-ray um, uh, like the each season. So um, I know that cause my brother collects them. Um, Apple but... TV as well as another one. Like I have a subscription service to it and I can access it from any smart TV, my whole library of purchase content. Right. Yeah, as exactly. well as my subscription. So it's, 
it's interesting to me that they don't do that. So, I mean, like, yeah, on that in that sense, I feel like Game Pass is almost more forward thinking yeah. as a storefront. Um, so once that expands to other services and, and tech, like that's going to be pretty, pretty valuable. And who knows, maybe Hellblade 2 will be, you know, $20 at that point because it will have been a while, but. Oh, is, uh, I also think, are we going to ever see Final Fantasy 7 on, uh, on Game Pass? No, no, <laughs> maybe. No, I mean, maybe. I, actually, you know what? Maybe because that game, the sales are not good right now for reboot. It's underperforming. It's yeah. underperforming heavily right now. Uh, which I kind of get. It is technically like could be seen as a sequel, which sequels don't necessarily sell well to a certain degree. But it's also a part two of the same game. So yeah, it, like, I, those, that that thing is too, that to me is like really interesting because like people are like. Well, remake sold double, and I'm like, well, I mean, remake launched at a time when PS4 install base was double the size of PS5, yeah. and the yeah. so right away there's too. half the consumer base. Plus, pandemic boost was ten dollars yeah. less. Like, there are all these factors had way better branding. Remake immediately, everyone knows what it means. Sure. Mm -hmm. So it's like, like all those things, I think, will end up coming on the wash, and I, I hope that Sony and Square discuss that pretty in depth and really surveyed like the circumstance of this exclusive release because they were putting it on a brand new platform yeah and they had to be aware that like the okay well the time frame that this is happening it won't be you know w within it won't have the same install base at that time as ps4 did so it won't be as successful therefore we need more money but also we have an existing team so we're able to turn this around way faster like all of these are factors that i, I wonder how that played into that deal do you, you think know, do you think shade. 16 heard it as well? Maybe it was mm -hmm. very close to release. Close. There's, so many, I feel like there's just so many there's just so many like another Final Fantasy game like yeah. A, yeah, I heard the story that there was a, a it actually 16 did really well on a younger demo as well. Um oh, yeah. Uh, sales-wise, so I'm just like, yeah, I want I don't know, it just it, it as this, much as I think like cuz it, it just seems we, interesting that there was so much hype around Rebirth. And it's it almost kind of comes as a shock that it actually didn't sell well. What was the game recently that said that it didn't sell well? Sixteen um, as well. Sixteen didn't sell as as. I mean, this Alan, also, Wake uh, Alan Wake Two. Alan Wake Two. Alan Wake Two. Was that it? Yeah. But this or, no, what, there was just, something else. It was like uh, a newbie game, right? Dead it was, Space. That Dead Space. Dead Thank Space you. Too, That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, this uh, again. It's kind of going back to that. Or, or you know, or, did Square and PlayStation? they set that expectations a little too high yeah. considering the the with the, what they had with remake or did they just you know uh like because that's the thing like do we know like what the actual uh, have they announced the sales numbers for for rebirth yet i don't i don't think so i think we the only thing i saw was there were reports yeah yeah like march reports in japan that was the only thing i saw mm. which and it was the second it's the second fastest selling ps5 exclusive of of all time in japan in japan so yeah. it's not selling poorly in japan no. like it's doing well no. enough but 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 16 also, is is faster selling than rebirth which is a little surprising apparently it's, it's around sure. 2 million copies okay which isn't bad but again yeah. that's the same amount as like, as well, like dead space and they said it was underperforming too yeah. so but then I mean, again square enix comes out every single time and they're like well it didn't hit our expectations yeah. so blah, yeah. blah 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 the and other thing space? i do want to throw out and i'm not saying that it's a direct cause or anything like that but hell divers I mean, Helldivers had the industry by its like a chokehold at that it point. It still does. And I, it, it still does <laughs> yeah. to, to an extent. But I do wonder like how much that just took the attention out of the core PlayStation fan base, the people who would have been there day one for, um, for, for Rebirth and just, you know, people were in it with their friends. They were in that whole zeitgeist. And then all of a sudden Rebirth kind of came and went and people were like, well, I'll pick it up later down the line because I'm having so much fun over here on a game that again going back to prices is cheaper yeah mm -hmm. uh, another thing as well is a lot there have been like the, everyone knows about is those, those, like final fantasy rebirth it's been a lot of like it's been very blurry or mm -hmm. inconsistent frame oh rate God. as well and like a lot of people could just be saying hey i'm just waiting for the pc version because they already know it's yeah the worst kept secret we know a pc version is coming down the road maybe even like the holiday or early february next year um uh so that could also be another reason like oh, i'll just wait for 
the proper version where or just be. a stable patch because they patch something because they the need game, it yeah yeah i'm having fun with that game still but jesus i've seen a lot of t game, poses in that game <laughs> I, so so I haven't seen that, but when you go into like the uh, the 60 frames per second, it looks like a PlayStation 4 game. It is super disappointing yeah. from a mm. graphical perspective. Like it takes such a toll when you go over to 60 frames. I, I just played on 30 frames. I, I This is one of the only times where I just suck it up. I'm like, okay, it, it just looks better if I do that. Yeah. Do you think this will speed up the production timeline to get this out on PC or rebirth out on PC sooner than uh, than what they wanted? I mean, they still have 16 to bring out on PC. That's, that's not even True. out yet. So, right, but I don't, I don't know. There was, I think the, there was never a guarantee for 16 to be out on PC, whereas seven the already. The original is out. trailer was the PC, and they're saying coming to PS5 oh. and PC. That was the original trailer, and then yeah, they did. Yeah, interesting. Okay. That blew well, my we, mind. They were like, we oh. also know that <laughs> PlayStation just does not care about that, given the fact that Stellar Blade was supposed to come out on Xbox One. <laughs> so PlayStation has been shown to just fork out the money to say no you're not you're not doing that we're we're gonna get all the well remake's still not on xbox and that no. was like a year of exclusivity and then that obviously got extended at some point so and i'm not what sure I mean. what the deal is they have with square i'd be i'd love to be a fly on, a, on the wall for that conversation because they worked out some sort of deal to uh, keep things that's... things off platforms for a while I think that's PlayStation's MO right now is that similar to, you know, Rise of the Ronin as well, where they looked at partnerships and just ways for them to aggressively purchase exclusivity in one way or the other. Deathloop was another one they did. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I, if maybe the, the deal that they originally made, like Square Enix usually made with, uh, with PlayStation was that it was going to be exclusive no matter what for seven remake, because that deal was probably like way before, like way before 2020, obviously when, uh, when PlayStation was actually doing really well that, Oh yeah, no, it makes sense to be able to, uh, to be able to have it exclusive to, to PlayStation. But now obviously post pandemic that the, like, you know, game, the gaming industry has changed quite a bit where we're seeing, like we're seeing stu uh, studios and companies being like, Oh yeah. Multi-platform might actually be a better thing. So um, I, I, if they did I, that, that would be very dumb. I think just on their part because i mean they knew that there was a new console gen coming up too and there's always an inherent risk so i mean totally possible that they have some sort of flex negotiating they might have first call on some of these other uh like windows of exclusivity in that particular series or franchise because they've locked up 16 they've locked up remake they've they've locked up uh rebirth so i think they definitely have some sort of like first call did like they have some sort of dibs or or partnership there for sure mm -hmm. so, i just don't know but i would imagine it'd be game by game i do but remember to, well, sorry i just was, was going to quickly say it has to be a game by game thing because xbox got crisis core. yeah yeah, yeah. Well, well, i was well i was gonna game. bring up that when the trailer was coming out for this game it did specifically say that final fantasy 7 rebirth is exclusive on ps5 until may 29th of this year wow mm. yeah so no, okay, okay. What, was remember... what was that? What was that? Sorry, when did it come out? I'm just trying to think of the duration of time that would be. Is that so this was months? this was posted seven months when they were like hyping it up and showing the trailers and everything. Right. Um, okay. and, and it said and specifically at the bottom. I always remember that, especially at the bottom. I just found it right here, and it's from Royal sixty four. It says not available on other formats at least until May twenty ninth of of twenty twenty four. So maybe at the June showcase for Xbox. Here's both Final Fantasy dual pack or something like that, or, mm. you know. Because also, they would have already delivered the last piece of DLC for 16 as well. Yeah. Because that comes out, what, this week? Yeah. So this yeah. one, this one's for Rebirth. I don't know about 16. Oh, my mistake. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, this one's for Rebirth. So. Oh, weird that it's yeah, so I, close. Yeah, that, well, the, I feel like 16. Maybe Sony's like, we don't have that much money to hold it that long, long. But, like, <laughs> but I remember, like, Oh, it's like the like it's only a couple of months instead of a year. I remember when the when they first annon announced uh, remake, it would said yeah. like, oh, like if we have it until like a whole year. This one was just six months. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, those deals are so interesting to me because like, remember how long it took for Persona Five to get on other consoles? Like, oh yeah, yeah. Joker showed up in Smash Brothers, and people are like, why isn't this on? What? Where, where's, where's the game? You know, where's the game? Like what? <laughs> it was like three years so later he showed up. I'm like, oh, there he is. I don't know. Like, obviously, Sony had a deal. It could it could extend maybe if they hit certain sales milestones. I don't know. Like, 
there's some there's some sort of like magic behind the scenes happening or some sort of handshake that we're not privy to yeah but hopefully i mean hopefully hopefully they're like yeah well, let me just put this on xbox one Listen, with the how sales are going because the remake was three days and it was 3.5 million compared to like it's only now reached 2 million that's why they're a little upset right oh, wow. now so, yeah. yeah it's bad. it's not doing so good right now so but i'm uh, i got like i'm curious to know the real reason behind it because yeah it does seem inherently strange to not have like upward trajectory and and traction with a game like that a game that everyone's like literally crying over to like this is amazing i'm like why uh, why is this game not selling so well in credits like, i think it had a 92 metacritic rating after 154 reviews like it is it reviewed very very well so i mean i i think it's probably just an install base issue and maybe a timing issue in terms of when it came out there's nothing out right now but to play that let's be honest Except well, Hell, well, except no, Helldivers, yeah, Helldivers, you know, it, I get it. Sony yeah. had a hell of a quarter, right? Like <laughs> Helldivers they did. 2, and then they had Rise of the Ronin, they got Stellar Blade coming up. Also, this was like, next month. Rebirth, yeah. yeah, well, maybe, yeah, <laughs> we hope. But, uh, but yeah, like all these mean, things. It is, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, two? Yeah. No, sorry, two. No, no one. one, no, two's uh, not coming off, two. forget that. Uh, oh, sorry. But, like, <laughs> only yeah, one but on, Rise on of the Ronin was your two. That's the two you get, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, because it'll always always be second place. That's oh, whoa, oh. whoa, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no, I I think I I just find it interesting because like there are so many different factors why that could be the case. But I don't, I wouldn't say it's selling like badly. It's selling well. It's just like I don't think where they wanted it to be. You can't have an MVP regardless. year every year, you know. Like this is. Just relax a little bit, you know. Yeah, Square especially can't <laughs> yeah, have it. You can't have MVP, MVP. every year. You can't have ten yeah, million yeah, every have time. A Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you know what? At least it's not as disappointing as Foam Stars. That's the only thing that PlayStation has to come back with. It's like, oh, our game did poorly. Rebirth did poorly on your platform. It's like, well, guys, it's not as bad as Foam Stars. So, counter <laughs> blessing. Is that only? Is that also another Square game only on PlayStation? It, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Did, it didn't do, get a PC release or anything? Nope. Nope. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, they, I feel they like had it some may sort have of exclusivity. <laughs> and oh, then PlayStation man. was like, oh, they got the bag. PlayStation got the bag. And they're like, just wait. We got <laughs> Helldivers the same week. You, you dumb fucks. <laughs> What was the 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 rumor last week of uh, that you know Square has been in like or, or Xbox was in heavy negotiation negotiations to try to steal the Square Enix from PlayStation? Was that ever, did that ever turn out to, to be anything? I mean, obviously we know I that. I feel like you know, I hear this story every year. Yeah, I, I know, but it was like it was something like it was it was a big like kind of like buy, like buy Square. Yeah. Or... I don't know if they'd do that. I don't know if they'll do maybe. that. Yeah. That, I mean, there was they, they had, that you know they, they were going to buy. So. There's a rumor that that PlayStation was going to buy Square for like the longest time. That was sure. a that, yeah, yeah, that was a rumor. I yeah. I like all those things. Maybe I'm sure that both of them have talked to them. About it. I don't know. Even it's very hard to acquire Japanese company. Yeah, true. Uh, especially like by Western, company. especially like a, Western. Yeah, yeah. It's, very, uh, yeah. it's very difficult to. So I mean, it's not impossible, obviously, but it's just very, very difficult to try to do that because. Japan's very per, like protective of its of its organizations over there. So I mean, maybe right. but Sony would be an easier one to acquire just naturally. But after yeah, this I performance, know, maybe... I wouldn't want to be purchased by Sony. But like, forget it. No, we can barely get two million out of there's, you guys. There's also not a whole lot of incentive from Sony to even purchase them because they're they already. Have, they have the yeah they they're have the exclusivity. They, I mean, they get all the good they stuff. Have it. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. Yeah. they get the Sony really bag or Nintendo bag. You know, so they're they're pretty much locked up there. And, and from Square Enix's position, yeah, they're they're in the best place possible where they get the bag from PlayStation, and then they can have those offshoots where yeah, maybe a Crisis Core goes to Xbox. Um, you know, uh, Octopath Traveler goes to Switch. It feels like they're they have the best of all worlds right now. Yeah, Bravey well, Beast Wars another uh, one. For, so for Rebirth, they they kept the same team and were able to reduce the development time by like a year right from remake so it's like there's a there's a quarter of your budget like saved essentially so like launching this other title maintain the employee base so development is smooth 
they can do that again for this next one. They think they're targeting like a three year turnaround ish for the third part of this this uh, trilogy. So it seems like it seems like everything's just hunky dory over there in terms of like their their system. So we'll we'll see how well they if there's another exclusivity deal that's going to offset some of the costs there or they're like nah screw it we're bringing we're launching the whole trilogy across all of the platforms like that's that's another thing too is like these things like rebirths will be relevant based on the next game as well so like all of these things kind of come out in the wash like you, you'll make money off of people who want to play remake who want to play re then rebirth and then this third one that we don't know the name of yet like all of these things will will boost the sales of across all three of those titles as well. So, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm sure we'll see a lot of that stuff too. And if they do something like Integrate for Rebirth, that's going to be another boom and yeah, right, uh, on PS6 mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. some sort of enhancement. Yeah, guaranteed. We'll get the enhancement the... sticker, you know. So, oh yeah, see. <laughs> yeah, <pretty laughs> so the question then becomes. When uh, like it, are we? When are we going to get part three? And is it going to be the final chapter of the Final Fantasy VII remake? Well, yeah, I think they already confirmed it is. Yeah, they confirmed that. It is going to be the last one. Yeah, yeah, I think that they already said. Or do they trilogy? That will they would they continue the story after, or are they just kind of done? With it, yeah, they they put out Crisis Core in the middle of that and integrate so. That's what I'm wondering. I'm like, oh, is there going to be like other... well, a part of this trilogy? Part whatever. of this trilogy, it is the, those three games. Yeah, Crisis yeah. Core is a, a remake of the original Crisis Core. Yeah. It's not Crisis Core remake in this trilogy. Yeah, right. But it's still in the same. Yeah. It is still in the same universe. remake no. universe. It's in the no. same. No. It's just no. a remake. It's just a remake. Of it's game. a straight remake. They don't. They don't yeah. touch on. So it doesn't take what place happens. in this new right. universe. No. It's yeah, another... it's totally separate. Yeah. Wait, but didn't they include Zach into 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 Rebirth? Well, yes, but it's not based on the Crisis Core remake. Yeah. Zach, it's just based on. Oh, which is a, so it's which completely is a retelling. standalone then. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. well, uh, sure. Okay. But that game was just that game was locked <laughs> sure. on PSP, so that was another reason as well. To yeah, bring, to bring it back. Uh, okay. So, I don't know. I, I just keep seeing because it's like it's the same. Like obviously, it's in the same engine, whatever, and it's mm -hmm. it's it's part of. I know it's like an offshoot or whatever, but it, like it, it just feels like they just keep making you know expansions to the original Final Fantasy VII. To me, as someone who's not necessarily a Final Fantasy yeah. player, uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess, like it just seems that they've got remake, integrate, Crisis Core, Rebirth, and then whatever Part Three is going to be, and whatever expansion or DLC that they're going to add on next it just feels like it's not gonna never end uh, at this point um they have a the... bunch of seven like spin-offs and stuff that they could dust off like dirge of cerberus and stuff right. like like a uh, bunch of those other ones they could bring back to or retell it if they want i guess it, it, ultimately i guess it just depends on how successful these games are and also, i'm also what, what i'm reading i'm reading is. online and it's within three years in three yeah, years okay that's their plan yeah so if it's three years okay so it could be like 2027 that means it's going to be a, literally a seven year journey of uh, final yes. fantasy 7 how, how fitting that's for final cool. fantasy 7 yeah. you know <laughs> i don't think that they plan that i'm just, <laughs> just <laughs> I, I don't know it just seems like it's too much like i know that yeah the for yeah. the original game was on like two discs so it was a pretty large game uh initially but it just I don't know, it just seems like from what I've heard about and what I've just, you know, with the limited amount of time I've played of, of at least of remake, it just seems that they keep expanding on things that necessarily that weren't in the original that it just may not have needed to be expanded upon, but we got it anyway, and they're just expanding it for the sake of expanding it. Again, I know I'm probably like way off and, you know, I'm just, I have no clue. I don't have the nostalgia for Final Fantasy VII as, as much as all the folks do, but uh, to me, it just seems like, they're just bloating it out for the sake of bloating it out. Well, I don't so, think it was always meant to be a remake of seven. It was, it's just like another, it's like another timeline of seven. A different there. telling. A different of, telling. Yeah. With yeah. the characters and stuff. Which yeah. is why with like one, with one, like there's some things are kind of one to one, but then like, but then you'd be like, well, that didn't happen. Why is this happening right now type mm -hmm. of scenario? Um, and 
And to your point, Steve, I have absolutely zero nostalgia for the first one. In fact, I hated the first one. That was the first one I played. And I was like, nope, this game, the series is just not for me whatsoever. But I've been locked and loaded. I, I feel like it has a good pacing between, you know, seven, integrate, and now rebirth. Um, I love these characters. I find them very endearing. I think the world is very interesting. The story's great. But I, I think the only thing that you can kind of knock it for is the amount of mini games but a lot of them are just you know supplemental you don't have to go dive into each and every one of them but mm -hmm. if you wanted to blitz through the plot of rebirth how long would it take you probably oh i i don't know because i'm not even done that's the thing is i i keep getting distracted oh, okay. by other games <laughs> uh, <laughs> but i and then again i'm doing literally the fallout everything. effect yeah, it's, it's the it's, fallout effect, uh, it's okay. the rise of the Ronin <laughs> effect, yeah. Dragon's Dogma 2 effect. Um, yeah, so I'm also doing like every single side quest, doing all the all the stuff that I feel like I, I should be doing. But yeah, I think I'm at like 50 hours and probably have like a third of the game to go. So pushing 80 hours okay, with this cool. game. Huh. Well, I this... hear that many hours. I'm just like, I can't anymore. <laughs> I'm just too I feel that the older I get, the more I'm yeah. like, uh, like that's so much time. But I did, I blitzed through remake and I was like, this is awesome. Like I really enjoyed the story. So yeah. I was like, remake I was a that. really that's good why I, I envy and... your. That's why I envy yeah. your patience, Sammy, just being able to tackle both like divinity and then also Baldur's Gate with back to back. No, what was it? Yeah, it's crazy. Divinity or, or was it, it Baldur's Creed? Gate first? And oh, oh well, geez. Valhalla. Mir Mirage, we finished quickly, so that was fine. And then into Baldur's Gate. But I, I, I applaud your patience because I, I look at that. I'm like. That's too much. Well, it also takes it. me like two years, so you know, yeah, it's just like a couple enough, of yeah. hours. She goes, she goes through like at least four game cycle, like a system cycles before <laughs> she's done. <laughs> Uh, Riley, so, sorry, I just wanted no, to good. quickly yeah. ask Riley, how long did it take you to power through a remake? Um, I did all the side content too, and it took me. I want to say it was like forty-ish, forty, maybe forty-five. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I don't know. Which it, it felt it felt like a long time. The side quest, I was like, okay, can we wrap this up? Yep. But then, but yeah. it was all worth it in the end. I was like, this is great. And then I played through uh, Integrate, which was cool too. Like it was yeah. a nice setup. Yeah. So yeah. now I'm gonna dive into Rebirth. I think because it's such a linear game, it's maybe that's another case of why it's it's a good pace as well. Where this one's kind of they kind of made it more open world. This one, like, it is from yeah, what I've it, seen. Yeah open mm -hmm. world hubs and stuff like that so you definitely pad out your time in between quests and stuff like that but yeah go gosh darn is the world pretty to look at so i don't <laughs> mind sure <laughs> um final topic and i guess in a couple minutes because when this uh, episode comes out will be the nintendo indie world showcase um besides indie games as a prediction here is this is it finally silk song this has to be it that's the big one, right? This, this has to be like this has to be Silk Song now. Do you think? Like Australia just had ratings just now, and the April Fool's just thing, had their Korea, ratings. Korea's had one as well. Yeah. Like, oh. This has that, to be a, at, at least Xbox at least a release the, Do you think Xbox might have the marketing rights to that though? Mm -hmm. I know they did for the previous trailer. Oh, yeah. So. I don't um, know. I don't know. Maybe. I maybe think Nintendo should at least have the release date. They would tell us the first one to talk about it. it is, I don't know. I, 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 it's it's I, entirely possible. But. You know, Nintendo and, and Xbox, they go hand in hand. They're like, hey, let's just join up together. You know. I think. I think a lot of people have. I mean, rightfully so. Have hyped up this game to essentially, or like the the the, the, the like Team Cherry to this like triple a or you know triple i level of a, of a of a studio uh to the point where the you know there's people are saying oh it could show up in a playstation state of play or xbox showcase somewhere or like a nintendo like a full-on nintendo direct i think we keep forgetting it's like no it's it's still an indie game we there's just a lot of people excited for it uh and it doesn't necessarily mean that that you know that we're gonna see it every like everywhere i think being in a indie world uh, showcase uh, kind of makes sense because then that could be the 
the last game that you show. Like that's like the like and the one oh, more 100%. thing. Oh, one hundred percent. No one, that's like no one's gonna more, watch like, anything after that. I feel bu- right, bad if they did it first. That's off. like yeah, it's like, like for an indie world <laughs> for uh, Nintendo indie world like that is like a, a like a, 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 a one more thing type game to announce. But in like a state of play or an Xbox, it could be like one amongst of, but not yeah. amongst the crowd. And I I think that if they want to you know own the own the marketing cycle, I think yeah potentially having it being in an indie world uh like like this tomorrow and who knows uh, i don't want like I don't, every, everyone's always you know predicted silk song to come out on every single nintendo thing or every single showcase for the past year and a half but with the setup here too we're getting into shadow drop territory potentially with the ratings hitting and stuff I, like that i, I don't like, think God. so i will stop Maybe. you there i will stop yeah. you there Maybe. i don't I think, think from, so. from what i from, from what i had heard at least in regards to like whenever korea sort of like starts to rate their games usually that means it's going to be launched within like the next six months so my guess is is that it will be announced soon and it probably will be like in the fall yeah that makes sense to or me. summer I think this is a um, summer game, so I was tomorrow that. during maybe, the indie direct. <laughs> no maybe they'll shot. announce it tomorrow, and then at summer game no, fest, be not. like, "Hey, by the way, live right now." They could do it like could kind do of a little like setup that, that way, like just that, like yeah. a straight trailer, cool. and then maybe like release you know, date. fall twenty twenty four, or uh, maybe even good. just a window. Um, not that I necessarily think it's going to happen, but I'm definitely going to record my reaction tomorrow just okay. because, right. you know, just in case. Just, just in case. Okay. I guess. Just like Why I not? You know? I don't think it will happen, but... I don't, I don't think it will happen, but it'd be cool if it did. But it would be really cool, <laughs> really sweet if Team Jerry did that, you know? Right ahead it'd of my be just birthday. swell, wouldn't it? It would, it would be, you know? It would be the cherry on top, the Team Cherry on top. just the bee's and... knees. Nice. If that... Oh, real who the Oh, my God. <laughs> What other indie games that like are high IP would be talked about tomorrow? Nothing. Dave the Diver. <laughs> Dave the Diver's ten times in a row. Nothing. Nothing. I, I am so sick and tired of like just hearing about Dave the Diver. I know it's good, but it's just like every freaking showcase is like, yeah. oh, Dave the Diver, Dave the Diver, Dave the Diver. Stop it. DLC. <laughs> Check out the Godzilla DLC. Oh, Godzilla DLC. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they do have that. I mean, it's coming yeah. on PlayStation yeah. Plus, sure. right? Right now, or. Yeah, 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 yeah. soon today. or today, soon or today. I don't know, soon. Yeah, um, what about I know Hades close 2? to now? Hades well, 2 was a huge, yeah, that's Whoa. their their technical mm-hmm. beta, is right? Their beta uh, is available to, to request today, so you can yeah. do that right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sure there's no, I really world do goo 2 update because I think it comes out next month. That's hell all yeah, oh, goo me up. You. Um, I'm I'm really, I really <laughs> hope that. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. I really hope that. <laughs> <laughs> like the longer I sat there, it's like nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I really hope one of the indie directs they had, they gave or they collaborated with an indie dev to do like a Legend of Zelda um, spinoff, a Cadence of High Rule. Yes. And that was revealed. So I'd love it if they got their IP involved with an indie dev, and we got we saw. Me too. something fun like i hopefully that happens like i'm I'm always i always like these things because like it could be they could show anything really. oh. new sports story oh god <laughs> what's this one like golf story hockey story yeah hockey Sporting story, your story. yeah well, well what was <laughs> there this, this, go- <laughs> this golf story and what was, what was the other one there was i thought two, it was right? tennis story was it or was it no, it was golf, there, it was golf story, story then it was or... Mm. Man, you know what I want? I want Battle Toads from Dalala Studios to show up. Ooh. Didn't we just get a Battle Toads not too long ago? Like Didn't a remake Japan of just get Battle yeah. Toads yeah. as well? Switch online. Switch. Mm. Yeah, port it to Switch. Oh, oh, I don't know. But the, 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 <laughs> the, the, like, who's the one who made Ninja Turtles? Like the remake one. Dotomo. Dotomo. Do they have yeah. something coming out as well? Would that count as Dotomo. an indie game? They, yeah, mm. maybe Metal Slug Tactics could show up. That'd be good. Oh. They're doing that, I think. Oh, well, we'll see. By the time this yeah. release, you'll 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 know in a in, right after this a uh, full episode of, of this of oh, lovely podcast. An X Men game from that team would be sweet. That mm-hmm. will be amazing. Oh, that would be so good. They're doing the that, that classic arcade better. vibes. Yep. Oh yeah, 
right I'll, in time for the show's finale coming oh, up or whatever like perfect. oh that would hit needs to happen absolutely needs to so happen. the show is only going to be 20 minutes yes yeah so that's, that's correct be... yeah it's going to be 18 sure. minutes of silk song and then whatever the fuck you want to pass yeah yeah simple games <laughs> That's why like, I'm like I'm not super excited for it because it's it, it like because it is short so it could be like it could be anything really yeah uh, I think it, it, I mean of course everyone's like hoping Silk Song but uh, ten at, at farming this point. games and Silk Song that's it Ooh, yeah probably in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. a guaranteed there's gonna be a retro style looking game there's gonna be a platformer somewhere on there there's gonna okay. be a, like a farming game a cute farming or a whole bunch of wholesome games three cozy and games bare three cozy minimum. games and maybe bare like minimum. one whole maybe a shante <laughs> game as well maybe a shante game i don't know a horror yeah. game i like that shout out all right okay yeah. Yeah, yeah, or maybe like a horror game is somewhere yeah, thrown in there. Something. That's usually the way that indie showcases kind of go. It's it's always a bunch of just those lately. Oh my God, I'm gonna I go just... big. I'm gonna say something's licensed in it. There's gonna be some sort of. Oh, license you think so? Eh? Like like I, I'm gonna go IP? for it. Yeah, I'm gonna say there's a licensed IP in this one. Keep it interesting. Okay. Silk Song will save it. That's it. We'll get the release date tomorrow. No shadow drop, but release date. If it's shadow drop, shadow then... drop. Then Silk Song. I don't know, man. On Switch Two, which they're releasing in stores tomorrow. <laughs> if, wow. If, wow. <laughs> bold, bold predictions. Yeah. It's a spoiler. It's not a prediction. If it wa- okay, if it was to come out on Shadow Drop Switch on, on the Switch, is it a uh, exclusive or just like nope on everything? No, it's no. Not on everything, right? Yeah. I think it's yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, they've already got the the store pages for everything. Um, they just so get it see- too, right? I could see that Nintendo would have like the marketing, like to be able to like similar to how why like Xbox couldn't talk about like the four games they're going to put on consoles, and they had yeah. to wait for mm, Nintendo awesome. to announce it. So I think it's a similar thing. It's going to be like you know, they, Nintendo's going to announce it, and then everybody's going to say, "Oh, it's coming out," you know, right. same day. Yeah. I am genuinely curious about it because it does seem like Xbox kind of grabbed the uh, license or uh, marketing rights only because they were the last to show like it, or, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But well, I don't maybe just for that it. showcase, though. That's that's the thing. I wonder. But it's if maybe just it a just very a... odd thing because usually when you have a game like that or a game that's so well known in an ecosystem like that, it's usually consistent enough. It, you don't really see a game like pop around in. in it seems like it seems like they worked with Nintendo to initially reveal it, and then yeah. Xbox came and they're like, "Hey, want to be day one on Game Pass?" And also we'll promote it, and they're like, "We'll give you some money." It's like, all right. Yeah. And yeah. and usually, if you are like a day one on Game Pass kind of game, you hold on to the marketing rights as well. True. If it is going to be day one Game Pass, then, then yeah, that'd be the case. But the, I mean, at this point, we don't know because it's like they said that it was in that showcase that you know everything was going to come out in twelve months. Uh, so obviously, that was a lie. Um, it did not. <laughs> so yeah always think um, they so lied bad. to us about it <laughs> <laughs> phil phil lied to us that's that's i'm just saying that right now are they still, are they still patching red are they still patching redfall they did a little bit <laughs> but I forgot about, I was like, Wait a seems minute. like a waste of resources at this yeah. point like, like, yeah that, that, that game's under a carpet somewhere yeah yeah, you just you let Jack go at that point. He can slip beneath the waves. And <laughs> that's that's the end for the Redfall, I think. <laughs> well, wait, what was it, was it Arcane Austin or was it Arcane Leon that was making uh, that made Redfall? Uh, Austin. Uh, Austin. Austin, okay. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, they're 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 deep in uh in, in Blade territory right now right now anyway. So that's my guess. Let him go. Use Wait, some of that vampire was... expertise for for. Uh, well, I don't know. I would assume that there would be a support studio to a certain degree, right? Uh, for for leon like it's it's our it's arcane right i think i can see some sort of collaboration i think they they operate independently like they work on two separate projects at a time because death you don't think they you don't think they like connect in these stuff at all i'm sure that these share resources but i i feel like you look at death loop versus redfall i mean it's not like one one traded notes with the other they just worked on two, <laughs> two games, <laughs> one objectively way better than the other. So, <laughs> well, that's why I figured it's like you know it's vampires, so it's like maybe they they right. use some of their expertise over it, uh, being like, hey, we got Blade. No one vampires <laughs> don't go out at night. Okay, thank <laughs> yeah. you, thank you, yeah. garlic. Yeah. So what what worked with your game? 
uh, let's just not talk about that. You know, <laughs> it's just, no, that's just like that. They, what, like <laughs> what, just, what didn't, what didn't work for your game. Yeah. And then we just well, don't do that. <laughs> here, here's the disc, you know, just play it. You'll find out. You know? yeah. I don't that's think Leo needs know, to go yeah. to Austin. They're, they're not, they're not asking shit right now. Like, <laughs> Uh, this is we the No Arc Games that. Club. We're allowed to have one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Maybe that's why I should have asked uh, uh, Dingo when I, when I saw the Game Awards being like, what is Austin doing now? <laughs> what are you guys, what what you you guys doing? Around? Yeah. What is Patrick Redfall or, or what's going on? You know? Uh, well, some housekeeping news. Uh, special announcement for X Defiant Beta is happening this weekend. So if you're away this weekend, like most oh, of that's us, actually happening. Yeah. yeah. yeah beta, oh wow. Beta okay. Test weekend is this this weekend. You can sign up right now. You can actually preload the game and uh, be ready for you on Friday. And then, like we like we mentioned before, is is Hades two play test. You can make a request uh, right now on top of that. So, uh, Sammy, what's going on for you for the rest of the week? You said besides, I guess you're going you're going away. But anything before Just that? Driving. driving. Um, no, not too much. Got a couple of work events to attend to and trying to slip in any kind of gameplay in between. All right. Well, best of luck with that and safe travels as well. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Steve Saylor. Uh, yeah, no, just uh, still working our way on Dungeons and Disabled. Uh, third episode goes up uh, tonight, as of the, the, this episode goes out. Awesome. And uh, yeah, it just uh, you know plugging away, trying to stay working, that kind of stuff. All right, all right, Steve V. Yeah, just wrapping up some work this week. Then I'm off to Disney. Yeah, bring the boy. Let's Woo. go. Yeah, yes. so fun. Have a good time. Have a good time, Riley. Not much. I'm excited for this indie direct now because we've way overhyped it. <laughs> we we hyped nothing. it up. <laughs> um, I think a lot. Four out of five of us had realistic expectations, and then someone, <laughs> someone, someone didn't want to. What? I'm not saying who. <laughs> Could have been any of us. I think. I feel like a licensed game will show up. That's my genuine prediction. I think that's okay. pretty tame. Like that, it could be I mean, anything. Is, yeah. is, this, is this Riley talking drop. or is this Walmart talking? Oh. No, I'm not <laughs> See, that, that's how I know. That's how I know Silk Song won't shadow drop because he would know ahead of time and he couldn't say shit about it. Yeah, if if I knew anything, I wouldn't be talking about it. Exactly. For sure. That's why it's, it's yeah. always. So, that, so that's my, my NDA is oh, so okay. fat. I can't talk about it. <laughs> just a, it's a fat, fat just, NDA. It's a thick, it's a just fat, a girth, it's a thick girth NDA. NDA. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so I don't know. Lot. I'm That's just speculating. Okay. Well, you know, just Riley thoughts. Riley talk. I'm excited. I'm excited for uh, for it to be happening right after this episode. So by now you will have an inkling if it came out or not, or you know, so there'll be some show left. So um, is an inkling a hint? Platoon. Hidden in ten. nothing. Yeah. Shadow, drop, mm-hmm. Sh- Shadow drop Splatoon content. Wow. Yeah. Marcel. I didn't say anything. I don't know speculations so. <laughs> uh <laughs> so anyway i'm away next week no episode next week so enjoy we'll see you guys in two weeks and um i'm gonna be trying to catch up with some games here i still have like, a bunch of reviews to do it's 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 it's, it's tough out there stuff in these streets catch up on fallout too yeah me too <sighs> i gotta do that as well and x-men i'm three episodes behind so i gotta catch up on that so i heard last week was really really good so cool it's Ooh. tough man it's tough this is supposed to be a quiet time in may and then all of a sudden they're like yeah here's all these shows to watch i'm like but this is my time to catch my <laughs> backlog and they're like no watch watch these shows you know so anyway uh we'll see you guys in two weeks take care everyone <laughs>